hi friends so basically in the last video we have seen how a copy column transformation is worked up uh, worked upon with so in, in for a data flow task in a, in SSIS package the next as uh, I had I mean shared that we it uh, that we will be learning the derived column transformation so here uh, we are going to learn the derived column transformation in this video what we have here is the same package with this little amount of change that I have done I have, I have removed the copy column transformation at as I had shared in my last video the reason uh, uh, of copy column being obsolete and being uh, overshadowed by the derived column transformation is, is fairly uh, uh, a simple and an uh, simple one uh, the reason is copy column simply creates a copy of uh, the existing column for you and further further to that you have to perform certain amount of transformations uh, based upon the business logic with the help of some expressions that you have but uh, this by and large this functionality is uh, done in one go in a sim via a simple transformation that is the derived column because of which uh, which the derived column uh, essentially is is one of the important transformations that we have in in SSIS uh, package development so uh, the derived column not only allows you to create a column uh, create a new column based upon an expression but also allows you to create uh, a workup or, or change the existing column so it performs uh, the dual function for you so again uh, giving you a base I mean a brief overview of the package that we have we have a simple data flow task package which is actually uh, rolling out or pushing out the data from production transaction history table this uh, this uh, table has transaction IDs and all the transaction details based upon the transaction date the quantity of orders that were booked on that date reference order ID product IDs which were actually booked and the transaction type so we uh, are, are pushing out the data based upon the transaction date column which is actually being used by the conditional split to push out uh, the date uh, the data of uh, 2008 transactions to a flat file uh, to a different flat file destination other than 2007 so we have two output file destinations uh, which uh, uh, selectively or uh, filter out the data for 2007 and 2008 trade transactions that was uh, so far um, our package was all about we have added two data uh, derived column transformations so let's try and look at each of them so the first one that we have is if you uh, if you see uh, you ha you will be uh, getting in the in the editor you will be getting all the columns that you have and these columns and all the all the expressions that you can use so uh, so out of these columns if you see uh, what we have done here is, is we are going to add a new column uh, whose name is order i order size this you will be allowed to type in so you will be allowed to type in a der new derived column based upon this expression so we are using this expression if you look at this expression is actually nothing uh, uh, nothing but it's using the quantity column if the quantity is less than 6 it's it's uh, giving the value of, uh, of a string a string value of small if it is between 6 and 10 it's giving a value of medium or else a large so it's nothing but a case a t sequel uh, simple case that you would write in a t sequel so that has been converted into an, an expression here and we have added a new column of order size uh, based upon this uh, quantity column so if you look at the derived column uh, values you will be getting uh, the replace option as well so either you can add a new column or a replace an existing one if you replace an existing one it will simply over uh, override the values of, of uh, the column based upon the expression this is for 2008 so for 2008 we are adding a new order size column for 2007 data what we have done is we are using two columns that is machine name and username and we are uh, trimming we are using the trim functions if you take a look uh, you will get all the functions that you have here so based upon this you can also uh, take a look uh, I mean what all if uh, built-in expressions that you have here based upon which you can uh, put in uh, your expression field so we are uh, actually cleaning up the trailing and the leading white spaces if at all for the machine name column and adding a string MAC Mac for the machine name okay and uh, for the username we are adding a USR uh, and that's secondly we are also 
replacing the username column based upon this expression so whatever the username uh, being fed into this uh, fed in into this uh, transformation will be replaced based upon the expression that we have in place so we uh, if you scroll up you'll get the uh, option to add a new column as well so if you add you can provide a new name to the column and then it will it will add a new column to the output of this transformation which can further be selected uh, at your output or your destination uh, file if you will so we are replacing it here so we have seen two derived column transformations that is the first one is actually replacing a, a re uh, first one is actually uh, creating a new uh, new derived column order size based upon the expression of uh, which is using the quantity column and the second one is actually replacing the existing columns so based upon the expression now let's run this package and quickly see the outputs right so if we see the 2007 data So if you see the 2007 data, you will be seeing there is this value appended and also the uh, uh, white spaces have been trimmed. So if at all they were there. So that's the existing column was replaced. Secondly, if you look at the 2008 data, you will see a new column that has been added with the name of order size. So if you take a look, you have a new column added order size and of values of which will be uh, based upon the expression that we have fed in small, medium, large, based upon the expression. So based upon the as the case uh, for that record, if uh, the quantity was 22, so it's it's a large order for it's a large order. So so that uh, that is uh, really your derived column for you derived column is mo was one of uh, the really most i mean mostly used uh, uh, transformation that you have in a data flow task and it's it is a synchronous uh, transformation uh, by which the synchronous transformation uh, transformation i mean that there is not much of data held in buffer in memory buffer the amount of data that goes in is transformed and uh, and uh, flown out of this derived column so uh, transformation so it's it's one of a quick ways of transforming based upon ex an expression so I hope uh, you would be using as and when necessary uh, I mean this transformation will really add value to your SSIS development so thanks a lot friends thank you